It's a common sense recap of the big stories. It's Cats and Cosby on 77 WABC. What is today? He's going to be uh, uh, William J. Park, Dr. William J. Parker, former president of the East West Institute, and uh, is doing so many things. He was in the Navy for like 35 years. Dr. Parker, uh, welcome back to the show. John, it's always great to be back on your show. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Parker, um, are we losing, uh, is our uh, allies losing confidence in us? There's so many things going on. Yes. Uh, in, in one word, yes, they are. Uh, you, you know, when you, when you look at the new alliances that are being formed openly now with Iran, Russia, China, where the UAE, Saudi Arabia, and Turkey stand on a regular basis, how Venezuela is puffing their chests out more, what India is doing. Yes, they're they're starting to lose their uh, their confidence in what we're doing. It's it's pretty clear. I mean, it's clear that Saudi Arabia does not like President Biden. Uh, they, I mean, they gave him a hundred thousand barrels when he showed up. Uh, when they, when President Biden gave him the the pardon uh, for killing Khashoggi, and uh, then he went marching off, and then two weeks later. Saudi Arabia cuts two million barrels. It was such a slap in the face. No, absolutely, you're you're spot on there on exactly what happened there, and and you know they're looking at this Sunni Shia issue between uh, Saudi Arabia and Iran and what they're doing with this new uh, relationship. Uh, there, there's a major slap in the face to the United States right now. Dr. Parker, it's uh, Judge Richard Weinberg, sir. Good to have you back. I want to ask you, this seems to me, this is a real game changer if you have a strategic relationship again between Iran and Saudi Arabia. It impacts all our allies. It's a threat to the United States. It's a threat to Israel. It uh, ups the stakes for everybody. What do you say? Judge, you're spot on there. Uh, You know, when you look at the JCPOA, we lost uh, $56 billion in assets that we had uh, that we had been holding uh, prior to that, we paid out uh, what will come out to about $1.7 billion in cash because we paid them back interest on what we held from them while they were holding our people over there uh, during the Iran hostage crisis. So so what has have you seen through the Obama and Biden administration, a loss of Afghanistan, $80 billion in, in military equipment, uh, a loss to Syria, and now Assad and Russia are closer. Uh, you have uh, Crimea loss to Russia. You have losing influence in the Middle East. And, oh, by the way, we're not pumping oil like we were before. So we're more influent or we're, we're more um, dependent. expected to get it dependent. Thank you from uh, from other countries. And Taiwan's in jeopardy right now. So things aren't looking real good. And, and uh, I understand uh, President Biden might be walking back some of the commitments he made about uh, Canada. Well, 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 what say you, uh, uh, the judge? What, what was the uh, name? I, I don't know about uh, commitments to Canada, I don't know about. But no, I not just, Canada. Our last comment. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, the oh whole you're talking pipeline. about the Willow. You're talking the about the Willow, Willow pipeline. Yes. Yeah. No, and no, I listen. understand because like I had the Willow dinner, pipeline. I had dinner with Senator Sullivan on Saturday night, and uh, the fact is that they thought they had a commitment of doing uh, 250 uh, million barrels or something, and uh, and all of a sudden they're walking it back. And we have a pipeline. Uh, in Alaska, that goes down to the 48 states of 2 million barrels a day, and we're only doing 375. So nobody understands why they're doing that, uh, uh, Dr. Parker. It's totally, yeah, self- I, totally I self-destructive. I totally don't understand why they're doing that. Yeah, I mean, if we're going to, if we're going to go to electric cars uh, completely, well, you're not going to go to that immediately. Our electric grid certainly doesn't support those kind of cars. Uh, so we've got a long way to go here. And meanwhile, we're being dependent on other countries like Saudi Arabia, which are now uh, cutting fuel uh, to us. And, uh, you know, the other thing I was going to bring up also, Dr. Parker, to the to that end, we were just talking about the budget. Uh, John, the judge and also Gov Patterson, we were all talking about the budget. And what's amazing, this is what Biden just unveiled. It hits exactly. John, first of all, has been saying everything comes down to basically energy independence, like all the problems that we have had, the lack thereof because of it, what's happening in our economy. But the new budget that just came out from Biden has thousands upon thousands uh, first of all, the 87000 for IRS, a whole bunch for climate and sort of ESG, and 300 for border agents, for new border in agents. In other words, they want 87,000 IRS agents and 300 border agents. 
the numbers don't make sense a little bit. Well, they make exact sense if, if your priority is allowing others into the country and at the same time finding or finding ways to go after uh, U.S. citizens that are paying their taxes. If that, if that is your approach, then, then this uh, makes complete sense. If it's not your approach, then this is insanity. Cub Patterson, do you have a question? Well, I'm just wondering how long this goes on before it really starts to impact day-to-day life in, in, in the country. If, if, we're, if our allies are that afraid to uh, even try to fight back against their adversaries, uh, and I think it comes back to the Ukraine where I think we took too long to get involved. Governor, we, we should have uh, gotten involved to the point where this this invasion never happened in the first place. So right. I agree with you. I think we're already impacted. Look at the price of food. Look at the price of oil. Look at the price of everything. Interest rates going up. Banks failing. The One of the largest banks in the country just failed today. So I, I think we're already seeing it uh, impact us. And I think we're going to see it more. And the other part is when you start talking about uh, budgets, Look at how much is being spent on the military and then look at what you're getting out of it. We should be building a lot more aircraft. We should be building a lot more ships. We should not be sharing technology with those that we're not sure about. And yet that's what's happening right now. And meanwhile, you know, the, the, the number of ships, you know, we're not the largest Navy anymore. Um, our Air Force is starting to be questioned with other Air Forces around the globe. We've got balloons flying over us. We've got some real issues. And other countries are looking at preparing for war, and we're not. And that's a problem. And uh, before we let you go, Dr. Parker, um, I just got to ask you, we were talking right before the show. This was amazing. These big developments, since you touched on Ukraine, Gov, um, of the Wagner Group. These are these ruthless mercenaries that apparently have broken through in Bakhmut. That's that you know very contentious area there in Ukraine. Is that a sign that the Russians are making um, some headway. What does that mean of where we're headed there? Uh, they may be making some headway there tactically, but they've already had between deaths and casualties over 200,000 people. The, the Russians are losing in a major way against Ukraine. They're, they're losing with their, with their reputation. They're losing militarily. They're losing financially. So I think this is a big loss for Russia, even if they take that particular city. All right. Well, Dr. Parker, thank you very, very much. Thank you, Bill Parker, and uh, thank you for everything you do for our country. Yes, sir. Thank you. Bueno, ¿qué pasó anoche? Ok, no es lo que esperaba, pero tenía el nivel perfecto de picante. Suena interesante y caliente. Tenía todo el sabor. Los ghost pepper wings de Popeyes son tan deliciosos. Espera, yo pensé que hablábamos de tu cita. A veces las cosas no son lo que parecen. Pruebo hoy los ghost pepper wings de Popeyes por 5 dólares, que tienen el nivel perfecto de sabor y picante. Por tiempo limitado en restaurantes participantes de Estados Unidos, precio puede variar, impuestos extra. Love that chicken from Popeyes. 